Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I will be looking at the Thermalrite SLK800 heatsink. What is included in this package is a couple of pads. Now these pads go actually mounted on the heatsink itself. I'll show you how that works a little later on. Also some thermal compounds as well as a thermal pad. You also get some clips here. Now these clips go installed on the heatsink to keep the fan mounted on the top and the heatsink itself. This heatsink is 100% copper and it has 34 fins. These fins go right into this solid copper V-shaped core as well with this heatsink. It's very uniquely shaped as you can see here. It's almost in a V-shape and it's very narrow here at the base. Now this is fantastic for the fact that you can fit this in almost any motherboard on the market. Some other heat sinks that are on the market have a huge base and they sometimes interfere with fan headers or capacitors on your motherboard. This one will not. Also with this one you can see here it has this three clip design. It clips on either side of the socket very very securely. However you will need a screwdriver really to get this thing on and off and that could be an issue for some. If you slip, of course, you're going to damage the motherboard. The base on this is very, very smooth, which is great because you'll have fantastic contact between the heatsink and the CPU. The weight on this cooler is 505 grams without a fan. And again, you can have a couple of options here for the fan, 60, 70, or 80 millimeter fan. Now the dimensions on this are very, very odd, as you can imagine, because it's a different kind of designed heatsink. I'll just go through those. The top without the fan, the dimension is 87 by 56.4 by 48 millimeters and the bottom which is right here is 57.5 by 56.4 by 48 millimeters and the base itself which is right here that really thick copper block is 25 by 58.4 millimeters. Before you start to install the heatsink there's one thing you want to do. You want to use these pads on the heatsink itself. Just put them on like I have here and the reason for this is that the base is so narrow on this particular heatsink it's going to miss the rubber ones that are on your CPU right now. So you want to make sure that you install these either on the CPU itself and or on the heatsink itself just to make sure that you're not going to be chipping the CPU when you're installing this heatsink. The great thing about this heatsink is you have many different fan options. You can have a 60 millimeter, a 70 millimeter, or an 80 millimeter fan, and you can have different heights of fans. For instance, something like this, or something like this. Now this one here is a 38 millimeter, and if it's a 38, you install these clips on the side at the very top. The next one down is 25 millimeters in height, and the next one is 15, the lowest in height. You can see here, of course, it's quite high, and that is for an 80 millimeter fan that has a 38 millimeter height. Now, how is this clip installed? Very simply, you can see here, it goes through either side, like so, and you just install the other one on, you pop on the fan, and then you just swing up these clips, and of course this applies really to any fan and it makes it very simple to remove and install the fan on top. One thing you want to make sure of is that you install this correctly. For instance, you can see their orientation. There's a little groove here which goes up further than the base itself. You want to orientate this like so against the socket to be sure that you're getting full contact between the heatsink and the CPU. And this is very easy to install. Just go ahead and place it down, snap all the clips in on this side first, then go ahead and push it down on the other side and it will just snap in. Now, you want to, of course, before doing this, apply some thermal compound to the CPU and then once that's done, you can go ahead, place the fan on top, whatever fan you have, clip it in and connect it and you're finished. Overall, this is an excellent heatsink. 
both in design, it'll fit almost any motherboard, as well as fans. You can put almost any fan on this, whether you want something that's very loud, performs well, or is very quiet. Now, as for performance on this, I was using a Vantac Tornado fan with an AMD 1800 Plus CPU, an ABID KX7 motherboard using Arctic Silver 3. It got a result at max load of 38 degrees Celsius. Now, that is really, really the best fan you can couple with this. You can get Delta fans as well with this if you really want performance. But again, if you're looking at extreme performance, good performance, you're going to be looking at louder fans of course again that option is yours you can go ahead and get something quiet with this or again something loud that perform very very well but overall this is an excellent product one thing about it though that I would like to have seen is a better clip design something where you would not have to have a screwdriver to really get it on and get it off because there's a possibility that you could slip and damage your motherboard but overall this is a kick-ass product Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums. If you haven't already registered, you can go in there. Registration is completely free. You can leave your own suggestions and comments and find out all kinds of information about all the products I video review. Until the next time, take care.